Hey, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, we're getting it all in the case of the Golden Idol. Now, this was developed by Colour Grey Games, published by Playstack, and is usually available for £14.99-$17.99. But the main game uh, for the full 1000 Gs has been included with Xbox Game Pass, but bear in mind, there are two paid DLCs you can get for a fiver each to blast those Gs up to 1350 Gs, G. So, this is a very cool point-and-click adventure where it just, well, it seems just super simple, but it's actually not, and you'll see what I mean. But, basically, the clues are there all for us on screen, but it's figuring out, um exactly what happened, which is the trickiest part of the game. But of course, luckily with this guide, you're all covered, winky face. Now, every achievement in the main game and the two DLCs are unmissable, as it's for completing every level, of which there are 12 in the main and three in each of the DLCs. Now, basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the first two levels, just so you have an idea of what to expect and what to do. And then the rest will just be basically the written solution on screen for around 20 seconds, as I believe that's the easiest thing for you uh, to do for you guys. And all in all, you're looking at around one to two hours to get this done. So with that being said then, let's do it. And we will click on the main game, the one on the left, the complications of the family. And here we go with the prologue then. So. Again, very simple game, very simple premise, uh, but basically what you're going to see on screen is a whole bunch of exclamation points. Now, it's those exclamation points which are basically the clues, so they're effectively unmissable. Uh, as you can see with this bit, yeah, oh, he's going for a ride. Oh, he's only sticking his head in the sand, that's fine. Anyway, so a few things to note on screen. First of all, what you're looking for then is, in this chapter, we are looking at 11. We need 11 pieces of evidence in order to fill up this scrapbook right here. And then when we get those bits of evidence, we'll be able to put the words in with the where the correct locations are. So, uh, basically, what you're going to do then in each level from now on is you're going to click on everything that has an exclamation mark. And once you have clicked on something and it's all good, it, uh, it becomes a tick. So you know that you've done that. Um, you don't have to worry about the thinking panel because I've got you sorted. So again, you'll click on the next exclamation mark, which is this broski. Now, when you have written um, letters and things like that, you see the letter of oh, the words with red underlining, red underlining them. That's what I'm trying to say. Basically, anything with red, a red line underneath them, you need to click. They that will then be added to your evidence book. So again, click on every every little thing that you find that has an exclamation mark on it. Horn of finger, horn of thumb. Jokes are too easy there, so I'm not even going to say anything. But again, every word that has a red line underneath it, you need to mark off or at least click. And as you can see then, we do now have 11 out of 11. So once you do... Once you have filled up your evidence book there on the right hand side, you don't actually need to look for any more clues. All you'll have to do then is go to your left side, uh, bottom left side of the book, and then you just need to put all the correct words in. So again, first of all, I'm just going to show you uh, these sort of first two levels here. So the first one is going to be Albert Cloudsley. Um, what you can do then is you can just drag the words over if you wish. So Albert Cloudsley pushed Oberon Geller from a cliff in the Horn of Thumb. So that's what we're doing. So again, it's not, as I said earlier, it's not the clues, and then we can, by the way, you can go ahead, return to scenario selection, and then click the next level. But it's not the clues which are the problem, because of course, as you've seen on screen, all you gotta do is just look for people, look for any exclamation points, make sure to click on everything so that they turn into a question mark, and that's job done. The tricky part of the game is, as I said, trying to put all the words together in order to form what the hell happened. So it's very unique and quite fun twist. Uh, but here is the sort of first proper level if you wish. Again, if, if you've clicked on something but it doesn't have an exclamation or a question mark on it, you literally don't need to worry about that. You can just click on it and then click straight off, as you can see, uh, with the horse. Um, now again, obviously the clues and as I said, any letters, any words, uh, make sure to get the ones with the underlining ones. Now, obviously, a bit later in the game, you will have to find some more evidence. But again, it's really not that bad. All you've got to do is just scan sort of each screen. 
Uh, make sure that you've got every exclamation mark. And then you should be good to go. So as you can see then, I mean, and, and this is it for the entirety of the game, including the DLCs. Even though it says the DLCs are trickier, it's really not too bad. It's literally just a case of going through each scene, click on every exclamation mark, uh, any red underlined word, as I've said about a thousand times by now, you'll need to click on, and there we go. So that's 16 out of 16, as you can see now in the bottom right-hand corner. That's everything that we've looked for. So again, we will just go ahead, once you've got every word done, we'll go ahead, click on the book on the left, and then we are going to just type... Oh, now yeah, we'll try that. Ah, just, Jesus, what's going on? Um, so Sebastian Cloudsley, that's what we're looking for here. Sometimes uh, you can, it, it can be a bit sort of fidgety and a bit weenish, but uh, yeah, anyway, you'll get used to that. So, so uh, it's uh, Sebastian Cloudsley, Lord of Blackfield. So again, if you want to go on to the next one, what you'll have to do is click on, so where it says Lord of Blank, if you click on that, then it comes up with the, the, another bunch of letters there. So Lord of Blackfield passed away in his bed. The cause of death was A. Again, if you click on the other colored box there, it comes up with new words. So the cause of death was a head wound, which occurred when he fell from a wiener, a horse wiener, while he was hunting. So again, if the word's are already there for you, but if not, just click on the colored box and there we go. So that is effectively it now for the rest of the game. Again, just look for clues. And then, as I said earlier, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to put the already finished solution on screen so that, uh, you know, like I said, there's no point you watching me just grab all the exclamation marks and clues because there's nothing that's really hidden, there's nothing that's really missable or anything, so it's really, really not that difficult. Um, so yeah, so for about 20 seconds each, I am going to go ahead and put, so what we'll do, I'll put the um, next line, uh, the next level, whichever one it is, and then as you can see here, uh, you can pause the video while you go ahead and do your things, and then fin fill this in, everything will be correct, and I'll leave it for around 20 seconds each time as I said and then achievements will pop quicker than your nan at a brisket funeral that makes absolutely no sense at all but there we go so there's the next one then the murder at little whatever it was and then just continue on to do this for the next million hours or hour or two
Hi guys, I'm back. I'm back to tell you. Let's do the DLC. If you don't have the DLC yet, of course, you would have got a thousand out of a thousand and you can come back to this later. But if you do, then we'll crack on with the Spider of Lanka. Now it does say it poses a greater challenge. It's basically just a few more clues that we got to look for. And obviously the, uh, um, the sentences or the, the, Big crappy thing at the end is just a little bit bigger. So the overly enthusiastic card game tournament in the Yellow Lily. Very great um, names in here as well. So again, it's exactly the same as we're doing with the last one uh, with the main game. You're just looking for all the clues and then you're just copying what I'm doing. Yeah. And then once you have done all three of the Spider of Anchor, Lanka, Cheeky W Anchor, uh, we will go on to the Lemurian Vampire. All vampires look like that, of course, with a little cheeky moustache. Um, but anyway, the only slight thing that is different, and I will show you in this one, as we start the first level. Now, there's a little bit more to it in terms of there are more scenes uh, that you can look at, uh, and I'll show you exactly what I mean now. The enigmatic exploration in a harmonious island commune. Okay, so as you can see then, first of all, you've got three new uh, symbols. So basically one represents morning, afternoon, and evening. So we'll just click on the island first, and then again, just quickly nip through all of the clues that we can grab here. And then once that is done, we can click the arrow up, and then if we click the middle button, the, the sort of middle symbol right there, it goes into a sort of evening, uh, afternoon routine, whatever, but there are new locations that will then come up. So you just got to do that. So if you're ever stuck, uh, this is obviously the solution for this level. So if you're ever stuck, just choose, or if you think you're missing some, just choose the one of the different symbols in order to change the time of day or whatever it is, and then you can get some more clues. And then just carry on after this with the final two levels. So there we have it then guys and gals, there you go, so if you've got the DLCs then you had to have 18 out of 18 achievements, 1350 G's, chilling in your pocket, job done. So again you would have probably got that done in an hour or two, so there we go, so thank you so so much for watching guys and gals, I do hope you enjoyed the game as well, and I do hope that the guide helped with the written solutions on screen, hopefully it was just a bit easier for you. Um, if you did, did like it, don't forget of course to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Sorry, my throat's going right now, so it's a good time to leave. Uh, thank you to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and I'll see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love!